verdict on John Swallow. It was a real education, and I'm sure I'll have things to say about it later. In depth coverage on KSL News Radio. So good to have you along on today's Doug Wright Show. Boy, we appreciate the folks here at Burke Brothers, too. They are accommodating something none of us had uh, actually bargained for. But uh, I really appreciate our two former attorneys general joining us, John Swallow, who was acquitted yesterday. Mark, the uh, charges were dropped against you when? How long August. ago? Uh, in, in August. It's yeah, been that long. It's been that long. Wow. And then yesterday, you haven't, haven't even had 24 hours. You said that was the best, worst day of your life. It yesterday. was excruciating, and it was joyous. Yeah. All in the same period of time. I've said this I don't know how many times. I cannot imagine not only a day like that waiting for a jury, but four years mm-hmm. of this and the effects on your, your lives, your careers, your ability to, to make money, the effect on the family and your kids. And, you know, I, I mentioned just before the break, and this is uh, public record stuff here, but Mark Sessions Jensen on my show, he called in and he was standing by everything, including the the fact that uh, Harry Reid and Hughes, uh, you know, our, our Speaker of the House, not at the time, but, you know, a, a state representative, a, a significant factor in UTA, everything else, was down there. And uh, uh, <laughs> Speaker Hughes, when I had him on, he was he was about, you know, you know, me. <laughs> you know, Greg, he was just about coming out of his chair and. I asked him, I said, do you stand by everything? And he said, I stand by every, I think he said every word that has come out of my mouth. And then I asked him too, I said, you know, there have been those that have said that perhaps what you are saying now is strictly out of vengeance, which he vehemently denied on my radio program. Mark, what are you going to play for us here? Well, this is where he talks about getting vengeance and started in January of 2013, this whole crusade. Okay, and this was a conversation with whom? This is with his wife. Uh, While in jail, he'd mentioned that this uh, reporter, Eric Peterson, had come to see him and wanted to create this big story, make it a national story. And in the story, his his wife is kind of saying, well, do you really want to do that? You know, and you'll hear her. She says she feels sorry for what John's going through. Because that time, all the news stories were just flying. Yeah. January 2013. Okay, let's listen to that. Crazy. So do you have a story? So I've had, I've had very good sources. I can't say who, but I have very good sources. That you have a, quite a story, and he named, he just he talked for ten minutes. I said, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not acknowledge or not acknowledge anything, but I have a story. I have a story. I said, I'm not gonna tell it. Good. 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 I mean, I felt. I personally feel bad for John Swallow. I don't know what he did or didn't do, but I would not wish this crap on anybody. I don't, you know, sorry, I'll, I'll tell you what I, what I think is uh, karma sucks, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. People could say that about us. <laughs> so I don't even know how I feel about that anymore. Well, it's just like at the end of the day. Well, the, it, unless I'm telling you, sorry, somewhere at the end of the day, whenever that is, people get to look at me again and say, oh, my gosh, that poor guy. And I just want to go home. Yeah. I'll let it handle yeah, I'll let it like, happen on its own. But I could really, yeah. yeah. he, he, he had some real facts. He'd done some work. Huh? He just showed up here yeah. hoping I'd see him. And I didn't know who it was, you know. Yeah. But he had some real facts. Uh, yeah. He had some real facts. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to. At least acknowledge this is real. I said, no. Yeah, good. He said, I can't talk. I said, I can't. for him. He drove a long way then for nothing. Oh, I know. He said, believe me, he said, there's going to be guys beating past your door now. Are you going to like If you won't talk to me, are you at least not going to talk to him? I said, I'm not going to talk to anybody. I just want to go home. I want to go home. I just want to go home. Good job. I just just want to go home. I know. Like, just let us go home. We'll move to California and never speak of it again. (laughs) Yeah. Never, 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 never. (laughs) But he's, uh, he was interesting. He had, like, uh, he does some work. Yeah. About or anything. Okay. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Did you um, happen to see any of the Lance Armstrong stuff last night? I'm going to find that exact uh, wording yeah. for you. Because there's some stuff that's probably personal in between that. Right, right. We'll, we'll find that we'll exact find portion. You. We are uh, at the end of, uh, of our opportunity to talk with both of you, uh, gentlemen. I, I appreciate you both being here with us. And, John, again, for those who may have uh, just tuned in, Yesterday, what an amazing uh, day and uh, a very significant day, not only in your life, but uh, in the life of Mark Shirtliff as well. 
Mark described there being an empty chair there. Did that ever kind of cross your mind, you know, while you were, of course, absolutely focused on what you were there for and, and the threats against you? Did, did, did it trouble you that there was an, and you had no control, obviously, but uh, trouble you about the empty chair? It troubled me greatly because Mark wasn't there to defend what they were saying about him and Tim. And so the, the worry was that the jury would just take that as true and that I would have been associated with, that was their whole strategy, to, sh to, to paint them as bad people and then paint me as a, a, an associate of theirs and therefore have a way to convict me on what they described as wrongdoings by them. And so they couldn't defend. And that's why we kept Mark on the witness list so long, I think, because... Uh, we, we didn't know how, how much evidence the, the state would you know, put on and what we'd need to, to, uh, to counter. It went, at the end of the case, it seemed like they hadn't made a case. We were able to make a decision, my lawyer was, that we didn't need Mark Shirtliff's testimony mm -hmm. to defend because they hadn't made a case. And so we were able to let him go and, and, and let Mark be. I wanted to be. You, Mark, know, you know I wanted to testify. Yes, I know you did. I know you did. So, but I, get, I understand the, the strategy, absolutely. Yeah, no. he did and the right thing in your we, regard. We did, and and uh, so I, you know, I just want to say that uh, this has been an eye-opening experience for our family. Uh, we're moving forward. We're not uh, we're not going to seek uh, vengeance by any means, but there are things that need to be changed in our system, and we're just grateful today. Our hearts are full of gratitude that that uh, my my kids have their dad, my wife uh, has her husband. Uh, this morning she woke up and said, "You know, it's so nice to wake up next to you and and not be afraid." that maybe tomorrow I won't be. Wow. Wow. I mean, how many people have been in that, uh, that position? Mark, you alluded to the fact that you're writing a book, and what, is, uh, what does the future hold there? Uh, the, the truth. I mean, there's so much information here, and it's, and it's incredible stories. A lot of these things we just we like, you can't make this up. People, when we, we read this and hear these things, gonna, I, I can't believe that happened. How could that be today in our system and those kinds of things? So, uh, yeah, the whole story is going to get told, and... Uh, I could, again, maybe maybe they'll make a movie out. I'm trying to decide who's going to play me and who's going to play <laughs> <laughs> Gerard Butler. Is who Gerard, you recommend. Gerard Butler or something like that. And uh, John, you you wanted to say one other thing here. Yes, I I've been wanting to say this for four years. When I when I resigned, I said, I that none of this is true. I want people to know that from my perspective, there never was a scandal. This was an invented scandal. And I believe it was done for political reasons. And maybe someday I'll have a chance to talk about that later. Maybe in Mark's book I'll have a chapter. I don't know. But there was never a scandal. It was, this was created. It was fabricated. And I'm glad now that I've been exonerated by a jury of my peers. I'm so grateful for that. And can I just send out a, a shout-out to the governor? Um, we both worked long, uh, long with Gary. I, I campaigned with Gary Herbert. I know him very well. But he, he was, he, uh, frankly, very quick to come out and say this was a black spot on Utah. I'd love to have him come out now and say this is a this is a great day for Newtown. There was not a yes. black spot. It's a black spot that the allegations were made against two long-serving public servants, and to say you know say something positive because uh, you know he, he again he, he he jumped quickly to condemn and to accept uh, the scandal rumor. So I wonder, how, ma I wonder how many people, especially those who are new to Utah, have kind of even tuned out. You know, you mentioned a long public service. I, I think of John Swallow. I think of your time in the legislature, I think of your time running for Congress, and then your time as Deputy Attorney General, Attorney General, and, and so on. I think of your time in the County Commission, that's actually when I met you. You were running right. for commission yeah, at County that commission. time. And I had four years as an Assistant Attorney General prior to that, and right. served in the military, and so I, m most of my career has been in the public sector. And one thing, too, uh, you know, Mark sent us a, a couple of, uh, of files this morning with the sounds that we have been referring to. Uh, we had a, a snafu getting it back and forth, but you're going to get us that sound, right? I'll get you every every bit, and I'll, and I'll actually put down the time signatures for you guys. Okay, point. sounds good, because we want to make sure we got a little bit of that for you, but some of it we were winging here, plugging things into Mark's <laughs> laptop, and you know how that goes sometimes. But, gentlemen, I truly appreciate you joining us. I appreciate your confidence in us at KSL, your willingness uh, throughout this process to talk as much as you humanly possibly could. And even a couple of times, uh, both of you were uh, on my show against the advice of attorneys. But I appreciated you taking that risk and having that confidence. And, Mark, I wish you well. Thank you very much. Thank Doug. you so much, John. Thanks, Doug. I wish you well. Appreciate Thank it. you so much. John Swallow and Mark Shirtliff with us here at KSL News Radio.